सो वी आर गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट फीमेल एक्सटर्नल जेनेटेलिया इफ यू फील लाइक पुटिंग द टॉपिक इन योर नोटबुक यू कैन डू दैट आई विल बिकम आई आई ऑलवेज स्लो डाउन वेन एवर देर इज समथिंग टू राइट बट आई वुड सजेस्ट यू कीप लिस्निंग ओके सो चिल्ड्रेन एक्सटर्नल जेनेटेलिया इन अ फीमेल collectively the one term that we use is vulva vulva is not a single structure my children vulva is composed of all these structures together with me on this some children think vulva is that is just a single structure nope vulva collectively all these form the external genitalia in women yeah outside structures called as mons pubis don't get scared we will take it take all of them up one by one then labia majora labia minora and clitoris the word labia you know from class 11th means lips okay yes so just to give you a hint what we are talking about now vulva consists of these four compartments not compartments parts now vulva is somehow around the vaginal orifice or i would say that in the midline of the vulva yeah all this that you see right here in the this is the pelvic cavity also we are showing you in the midline are the vaginal orifice and the urethral orifice okay is that clear so the vulva first of all uh, is surrounded by a cushiony layer of skin and pubic hair right anteriorly if you look at the external genitalia in a female the first part that you will encounter is the mons pubis yes what is mons pubis nothing but padded skin a pad of skin so it is the anterior most part fatty tissue layer and covered by skin and pubic hair perhaps god has made it this way for protection next after mons pubis the boundary of the vulva are two lips or folds of skin called labia majora they are bigger than the minora so majora and minora are comparative terms partially covered by pubic hair all right remember in the midline of external genitalia of vulva lie the orifices the vaginal opening okay we will show you that we will appreciate we will mark the orifices after a while so two large fleshy skin folds they form the boundary of vulva this is a very important point if you feel like you can write it down just this much that labia majora because that is a previous year question boundary of vulva the external genitalia all in all the boundary is formed by these labia majora they are partially or partly covered by pubic hair just to understand now they contain numerous sebaceous glands why again to keep lubricating yeah so in order to see female uh, re reproductive system of female genitalia the vagina has to receive penis okay has to receive penis so it needs lubrication for that function also and to keep its own parts lubricated as well so sebaceous glands many sebaceous glands are present in these folds of skin to keep the external genitalia lubricated next the labia minora which are inner you see these are the majora inner to the majora folds my children lie the smaller folds smaller fleshy skin folds called as minora minora look at the way they are meeting here why am i telling you this well that's important in a while 
दे लाइ अंडर द लेबिया मेजोरा दे ऑल्सो कंटेन सिबेशियस ग्लैंड मोर लुब्रिकेशन मोर लुब्रिकेशन नाउ वॉट हैपन्स इज द स्पेस बिटवीन द लेबिया माइनोरा द स्पेस बिटवीन द लेबिया माइनोरा डू यू सी दिस इज कॉल्ड एज वेस्टिब्यूल वेस्टिब्यूल एनी वेज इज अ जेनेरिक टर्म फॉर स्पेस for a cavity sort of a passage okay so it is the area between the labia minora is that clear very very important now we are going to clear a myth that women urinate through vaginas never women do not urinate through vaginal orifice in males it could be a common pathway but in females there are different routes women have three different orifices children what are the three different orifices very important in the midline there is anus for the feces there is vaginal orifice that's why i told you the vestibule yeah so it is not the vestibule it is located here vaginal orifice is located close to the vestibule vaginal orifice is only for the menstrual flow blood and very close to the vagina is the urethral opening for urine urine menstrual blood and feces what i want you to notice is look at the proximity proximity very close urethra vagina and anus are very very close to each other why is this important to note where will i apply this concept i'll let you know in a while okay and do you see this this finger like projection just above the these are the labia minora these are the labia minora yeah somewhere in the vestibular region i encountered vaginal orifice notice that labia minora are meeting here just keep looking at the diagram you don't have to write anything my children this is very crucial once you see you remember i as a student marked it up there are many students who marked it up so idea is to form a visual imprint in your beautiful brain so that you never forget okay so you looking at the picture is very very important labia minora are meeting here and just where they are meeting my children there's a finger like projection hold this hold this sight all right now you're clear with the three orifices now we are going to apply the concept of clo close proximity in telling you a concept in telling you a fact there is a very very common disease called honeymoon disease seen in females what is honeymoon disease let me talk to you about it so uh, it is assumed that uh, during honeymoon after a female gets married and she indulges in sexual intercourse for the first time or um, after a long time of abstinence it is very common in females to catch urinary tract infections or utis and one of the major region, reasons for females carrying utis carrying uh, catching infections in the urinary tract region it's very very uh, uh, common in females is because of the close proximity of anus urethral orifice and vagina everything is in a line very close you know that urethra in females from excretory system class 11th urethra in females is just around approximately 5 cm long but in males urethra is much longer okay much longer around 20 cm it is more than 4 times so males do not ca uh, catch urinary tract infection easily but females do and they have to be careful most of the bacteria children uh, which cause utis most of the bacteria 
लिव अराउंड द एन एस रीजन एन एल रीजन एंड सिंस द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द एन एल ऑरफिस एंड द यूरेथ्रल ऑरफिस एज वेल इज वेरी वेरी लेस एज कंपेयर टू इन अ मेल सो दिस इज द रीजन वाई यूटीआई आर कॉमन इन फीमेल्स शॉर्ट यूरेथ्रा ऑल द ऑरफिस इन वन सिंगल लाइन वेरी वेरी क्लोज टू ईच अदर and that is called as the honeymoon disease the bacteria from the rectal area or anal area travel very easily up the urethra and can reach the urinary bladder if uti remains untreated it can be really fatal there will be itching sensation there will be a uh, painful urination they can be in serious cases bleeding during urination then doctors have to uh, give high doses of antibiotics but uti is very very common in females it can go undiagnosed as well is that clear so that is your honeymoon disease now coming to the structure clitoris very very important answers my question in the beginning not a question but a wonderment uh, as in which is the pleasurable zone in a female so remember this finger like projection that i made you notice just now above where labia minora are meeting just above that this finger like projection is called clitoris present at the upper junction junction of two labia minora and clitoris is located even above the urethral and vaginal orifice well clitoris is the pleasurable organ in a female it is the glans clitoris it is also called as glans clitoris and it is very very homologous to glans penis it has the it is rich in nerve supply nerve endings so when a female is excited it is the glans clitoris of course along with vagina and tissue called as corpus cavernosum erectile tissue just like corpus cavernosum and spongiosum in penis the blood supply increases to clitoris clitoris will become very swollen during sexual excitement in a female is that clear so this is that is where a female uh, feels or senses the pleasure clitoral region but unlike penis penis was also conducting it was moving along the urethra yeah clitoris is is a is a fold it's a very small tissue it's not performing the similar function as penis of conducting the of being the passage for urine as well as semen it is only for pleasure is that clear so it contains erectile tissue or it is surrounded it 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 is rich in nerve uh, endings and it is surrounded by corpus cavernosum so now you can see this is the glans clitoris the tissue erectile tissue corpus cavernosum urethral opening and vaginal opening 